Hi everybody, this is Google Docs for Kids, episode two, formatting. In this video, we're going to get started with actually creating a nice looking document in Google Docs. When we format a document, we choose where the text is going to go and how it looks. So today, your goal is to start creating a document about yourself called About Me. This document is going to have three sections that describe yourself. So let's get started. First of all, keep in mind that you or your teacher can pause this video if you want to follow along and create your document while you're watching. And to help you know when it's a good time to pause, you'll see this pause symbol on the screen. The first thing that we're going to do is to go to the Google Docs homepage. That's at docs.google.com. And we type that in the address bar at the top of the internet browser and press enter. On some computers, this key is called the return key, but it's always in the same place. When we get to the home page, we're going to select the plus sign up at the top to create a blank document. And then we have a blank document. So we'll start with the title and we'll call it About Me with a capital A and a capital M. To type capital letters, you use one of the shift keys, hold down shift, and while you're holding down, type the letter you want to capitalize. Next, we'll move our cursor down to the next line. And to do that, We'll press the enter key. Now we can type our full name. I'm going to type my name, but of course you'll type your name. And remember to capitalize both your first and last names. Now that we have the title and our name, we're going to create a blank line. And to do that, we'll press enter two times. Next, we'll type the subheading for our first section, and we'll call this section Basic Info. And we capitalize both words. Now let's actually create two blank lines to give us a little space to write later on. And to do that, we'll press enter three times. And then we'll type the next subheading for our second section. And we'll call this section, Favorite Things. Capitalize both words. Next, let's create another two blank lines. Press enter three times. And then type the final subheading called Interesting Facts. Now press enter one time just to create a space to write underneath. And that will be it for our subheadings. Let's quickly name this document by clicking on Untitled Document up on the top left. You'll notice that just by clicking, Google Docs uses the first line of the document as the title, and that's actually what we want. Okay, let's get started with formatting. One of the most important skills you need for formatting is being able to select text. That means that you tell the computer which text exactly you want to format. When you select text, you use your trackpad or mouse and the selected text gets highlighted in light blue like this. So we're going to talk about a couple different ways to select text using a trackpad. With all of these ways, you'll move your cursor to the beginning of the text you want to select. We're going to select About Me. So use your trackpad to move your pointer to the beginning of About Me, right before the A. Then, click with your thumb and hold down the trackpad. While you're holding that down, drag to the right with your index finger until you get to the end of About Me, then let go. If that went well, you should have About Me selected. You can also use just one finger to click, hold, and drag, like this. And if either one of those feels too hard right now, you can use another method. With one finger, click the trackpad and hold it down at the beginning of About Me. Then, while you're holding, press the right arrow key repeatedly until you get to the end of About Me, and then let go. You should have About Me selected. If you have the wrong text selected, you can just start over again. And remember, if something goes really wrong, you can always use Undo up at the top left. Okay. Now that you have that About Me text selected, we're going to do a couple of formatting tasks with it. First, let's move it to the center. We'll go to the Center Align icon in the formatting bar. Click that, and that should move the About Me text to the center. Now let's make it bold. Make sure it's still selected, otherwise you need to select it again. Then point to the B in the formatting bar and click it. That makes it bold. Finally, let's make this title bigger. Make sure that it's selected and then go to font size in the formatting bar. Click on the arrow and let's choose 18 by clicking on it. Now it's bigger. 
Now let's move your name to the center by selecting it and clicking on the center align icon. Okay, that's a good start. Next, let's format these subheadings. We're just going to underline all of these. Let's select basic info and then we'll click on the underline icon in the formatting bar. Then we'll repeat that with the other two subheadings, favorite things and interesting facts. Let's take care of one more formatting task before we start writing. We're going to make our interesting facts section a list instead of a paragraph. So let's move our cursor to the beginning of the line right underneath interesting facts. If you can't get there, you might need to press enter at the end of interesting facts. To make this a list, we're going to click on the icon for bulleted list in the formatting bar. This will create a little dot or bullet so that we can start creating a list. Okay, it's just about time for you to do some writing. So I'm going to quickly show you what my document is going to look like so that you can get some ideas. If I move my cursor right under the basic info section by clicking there, I can start typing some basic info about myself. I'm going to talk about what city I live in and what grade I teach. And notice when I get to the end of the line, I don't need to press enter. When I get to the end of a line, Google Docs will automatically send me down to a new line. So type a paragraph with some basic info about you. Next, I'll move down to the favorite things paragraph and I'll write about some of my favorite books, my favorite foods, and my favorite things to do. And you can write about whatever favorite things you want to write about. Finally, I'll work on this list for interesting facts. For each item on the list, I'll write one interesting fact. And then when I'm done with the item, I'll press enter and that creates a new bullet so that I can start my next item. Now, if you're interested in doing a little more formatting, here are a couple of ideas. You can select text and change the font. That's right up here. And you can select text and change the text color. And that's right here. And remember, you can change the font size, which we learned to do before. Experiment and see what you like, but don't forget to do your writing. So that's it for formatting with Google Docs. In the next episode, we'll talk about inserting images. Have fun, and thanks for watching.